take your ship with you through the Unity by building it in the Creation Kit. Hello everyone, this is Richard. Welcome to Starfield Essentials. One of the biggest complaints people have with Starfield is not being able to take their stuff with them when they go through the Unity. The approach that I'm using to solve this problem is to build my ships in the Creation Kit and then have them available at any time. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do that. This is a tutorial different from the videos that I've been publishing recently, so I hope you enjoy it. Now, in order to accomplish this, we're going to need a mod. The mod that we'll be using is the Ship Vendor Framework by Rux616. The Ship Vendor Framework is a mod which essentially makes it easier for you to add a ship at a vendor. So in the example that I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be adding my ship to the vendor at the Red Mile. The ship vendor framework is available on Creations, and thankfully, it is also available on Nexus. So you'll want to make sure that you have this mod loaded before you go and start using the Creation Kit. To get the Creation Kit, you'll want to go on Steam and search for it and find Starfield Creation Kit and download it. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go through that process. Once you open the Creation Kit, if this is your first time using it, uh, or actually any time using it, it will definitely look different than what I have on the screen here. Basically, just arrange the windows in whatever manner suits your workflow. Now, once you have the Ship Friender Framework installed, and you have the Creation Kit loaded, you'll want to select the ESMs that we're going to be using to build our ship. And the ESM is just the packaging that Bethesda uses for the content that it provides that creates the game. So for example, we're going to be making sure that Starfield.ESM is selected, that's the main game. We're also going to be selecting the SFBGS006.ESM. These are the patches that were made for ships in the game. And we're going to be selecting Ship Vendor Framework. And we're going to say, OK, don't worry about everything else you see here. These are the, the mods that I'm using, but you don't have to worry about any of that. So we're going to hit OK after we do that. And the creation kit is going to take a little while to work. All right, we are back. We have those ESMs loaded. We're going to now file Save Plugin, and we're going to create a plugin that will contain our new ship. And for me, I will call this BEJ for the first three letters of my last name. Mod Starfield version one, ship vendor framework, SFV, and I'll call this 002 since I already have an 001 that I've built for my ship White Wolf, which we may talk about another time. And we're going to save this as an ESP, that's fine. Hit save. And now, if we open, we will see that the file that we just named and saved is listed as the active file. This is very important. The active file is the one that changes are written to, and that is what we want in this case. We don't want to be writing changes to starfield.esm or sfbgs006.esm or even to the ship vendor framework. We want the changes that we're going to be making written to the active file, which in this case is an ESP under our control. And uh, you can think of an ESP as sort of a temporary file that you create first, and then we'll transform it into an ESM that you can use in game. Although you can use the ESP in game, but if you want to share it, if you want to do things properly, you want to put it up on Bethesda or on Nexus mods, you want to share it as an ESM. So we are set with that. One of the tricks I'm going to be using here to build a ship is I have in this upper left window an Xbox Remote Play session going. This is my ship Slayer, which I built on the Xbox months ago, and I have some videos about that. But I'm going to be using this as my template for how I want to, uh, or the ship that I want to try to recreate in the creation kit. Let's start building our spaceship. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this text filter. If we don't remove the text filter, we won't see what we're looking for. So we're going to go to generic forms, base forms, and spaceship. And this is the location where we will find ships that are already created. 
Now what I like to do is to use an existing ship as a starting point. So in my text filter, I'm going to put in SC star Tayo. And I like this SE Fab 04 Fighter A Tayo Sparrow 01 Ghost. I can click on that. And if I were to open the spaceship editor now. Now the spaceship editor underloads this. So if I hit uh, Alt Tab, I will get to the spaceship editor. And here it is. Now I, I just switched to using a controller actually because I'm a little more comfortable using the controller. Although the uh, I usually invert the Y axis, so that might be a little bit of an issue here. But here we have, which at first glance looks exactly like the ship builder that you have in the main game. There are some subtle differences, but uh, nothing which you can't work around. So this is what we're going to be using as our starting point. I'm going to close the ship builder now because we don't need it for this part. And I'm going to clear these warnings. I'm going to right click on this and say duplicate. And I'm going to go to my duplicate and I'm going to double click on it. So I'm going to call, you can call this whatever you want. I recommend you come up with some sort of naming convention that makes sense to you. For me personally, I start everything with BEJ. Uh, I can search the entire Starfield tree over here on the left for BEJ and anything that I've created will come up. So I'm going to use BEJ and I'm going to use the uh, prefix BEJ mod, SVF ship and I will call this Slayer MK1 or Slayer Mark 1 and for name I will simply call it Slayer and I'm going to turn off is ghost I'm not even sure what that means but I don't think I need it so I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to hit OK and it's going to ask me if I want to create a new form I'm going to say no because I already made a duplicate so I'm going to say no so now I'm going to Double click it again, and I'm going to open the spaceship editor. And again, I'm going to Alt Tab until I have the spaceship editor on my screen. Move it a little bit over to the right here. And now I'm going to bring up my window that has the ship that I want to duplicate. And this is just a, a little bit of a hack that I'm using. This is a remote play to my Xbox Series S. That I'm going to be using as a template. All right, so I might not be able to have them both up exactly at the same time, but I can at least turn to that remote play window for reference if I need it. So let's start over here, and I'm going to just get rid of things that I don't need. And you can see right away, for example, let me go over to this window. Over here, if I want to select something and then delete it, I highlight it and then I hit X. However, over here, if I highlight it, I don't have X as an option. I have to do left trigger for options, and then I can say Y for delete. Or I can use the keyboard. So now I'm using the keyboard and mouse, and I'm just going to hit delete right there. So I'm just going to start deleting things that I don't need. Okay, so all, all that I'm left with is my samurai cockpit and my docker. Let's start by adding my landing bay. And this is actually pretty cool because you can see all the stuff that's in the game when you go through it this way. All the space station stuff, everything. So we're going to skip all that. And I want this 120 LD landing bay. Just like that. And it looks like behind it, I have a Stroud all-in-one berth 2x1A. Now, I have had some issues with um, getting these pieces to move. So, for example, it's selected. Now, if I want to raise it, I should be able to hit right button. Yeah, and the screen is going up, but my piece is not going up. So I don't know what the story is with that. There we go. On the sides, we have 
Deimos, Wing D, Port, and Starboard. So let's add those. And you can see the, the uh, control is a little bit different here, but there we go. All right, back over here. And then we have NG-15 landing gear, port and starboard. All right, now we have, so R-4000 and SV-40 sheared flow. Next, the Amos Wing D, port and starboard. My engines are Hercules DT-160. All right, there are my engines. We are almost there with this ship. Look at that. All right, let's look at putting the docker in place and this SG-1800 shield generator. Let's check out our weapons. So we've got four PVO-100 auto-neutron turrets on the front. So let's add those in. All right, there are the four weapons. Let's come over here and see what else we have. We have two PVO-300 auto-alpha turrets. We have EMP-1000 thousand suppressors. Looks like we have one, two of those. Oh, and I think I have to tuck a third one under there. Yeah, so I have one tucked under there, and then I think I have another kind of weapon tucked over the other side. Yeah, another PBO 300. Okay. Let's check our errors. Ah, we need a fuel tank. Aha, okay. So where's our fuel tank in the ship? 500T HE3 tank on the bottom. Now, the last error is probably unassigned weapons. Yes, okay. All right, so we'll assign MP suppressor to our first weapon. We'll assign the auto alpha turret to the second and the auto neutron turret to the third. All right, and the last thing is painting. So left trigger and then select a all, and then we will do color right stick. So this is where huh, you'll need some presets or memory or something like that in order to get it. I'm, I'm gonna go just for an approximation here. That's good. In fact, that's probably, that's probably good enough. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with it. So let's do a flight check. Good. Close. All right, with our ship ready, now just close the spaceship editor. Clear that. We'll hit save. So now we're going to generic forms, leveled based forms, and we're going to right click. Actually, we'll get rid of that uh, filter first. We're going to right click and say new. All right, and now I'm going to give this an ID, edge mod. Ship Vendor Framework, Ship Slayer Mark 1, LBF for Leveled Base Form. And now we'll come down here, and I'll say New. And for the object, we'll type in a filter so it brings up my ship, and hit OK. Now we're going to check Calculate for each item in count. Hit OK. And the next step is to go to Miscellaneous. Form list, right click, say new, give an ID. I'm going to call this the same thing, except I'm going to call it FL at the end for form list. 
add leveled base form. Okay. Filter for mine. There it is. Now I need to say which list I'm going to add it to. And I'm going to filter by SVF or Ship Vendor Framework. And I'm going to select where I want my ship to be sold. So I'm going to use Red Mile. And I'm going to say Red Mile Unique. Okay. Now I will hit save. And my ship is essentially ready, but I'm going to do a couple things first before I use it in game. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say compact active file form IDs for small master. And I'm going to say convert active file to small master. And you can see my new mod is edge mod SF1 svf002.esm and we should be able to use this in the game so i'm going to fire up vortex i'm going to look at my load order and i'm going to see that i have my esp that i was building and my esm so i'm going to unselect the esp we're not going to use that but we are going to have the new ESM loaded. This is my testing profile that I will use. And we'll start. All right, let's go see if the ship vendor Whatever has you have to say, my new ship. I don't give a shit. What's up, Long? Yeah. What we got's all legit these days. <laughs> Take Perfect. a look. All right, let's buy, buy, buy. There it is. Look at that. Slayer in game. Beautiful. 322,233 credits. Let's buy it. Oh, Astrid's no longer following Good luck me. With. Because I don't have a room for, I don't have room for her on this ship. So there's Slayer waiting for me. Let's go take this ship up into space and see how it does. You're mine. See, I'm not even shooting. It's just my turrets are doing all the work. There we go. So I have successfully taken a ship that was previously on my Xbox side. I have rebuilt it in the creation kit, and now I can add it to any character that I like simply by buying it for the, the appropriate amount of credits at the Red Mile. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Richard. If you like this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment below. I'm always interested to hear what people think of these videos. And I will see you in the Starfield.